We're going to find out how much money I made, or more accurately, how much I lost, on my first comic convention. The purpose of this video is to give you a full picture of how much money can really go towards these things. This is not financial advice, it's just an account of all the money that I invested and how much I made from that investment. So let's start with the first things I bought. I'm going to be stating all these things in dollars because that seems to be the most popular currency online. But if you're from the UK like me, I'll have the pounds up there as well. First, we have the boxes, which were used for carrying all my stuff, which were $24. I made an emergency kit, which included invisible tape for $15, Sharpie pens for $22 and price labels for $6. I also had things like scissors and blue tack, but I already had those, so I'm not counting them. I bought plate stands for my comics, which were $18. 100 business cards for $30, a card reader for $37, 150 comic book bags for $12, a portfolio folder for $18, a tablecloth for $6, and 100 cellophane sleeves for $12. Now these prices are just rough guides because I've rounded them all up. And that brings the total to about $200. Almost all of the above are optional things, but if you can afford it, I'd say that it's worth it. Now onto the things that I'd be selling. To print 20 comic books cost me about $58 and I did this three times, bringing the total to $173. I bought two packs of 50 art paper and that was it for a total of $57, which brings that total to $230. And that covers the comic books and the art prints. I haven't included ink because I find it really difficult to calculate how much that's going to be per print. But I would recommend that you use printers that have the bottled ink because they're much more economic and the print quality seems to be just as good. Finally, we've got the cost of the table itself. I spent $113 on the table, which is cheap. If you want to go to a comic con, then you're going to be looking at paying three times that much. So with absolutely everything added together, I got $552. That's how much I spent. Now there are a few things that I've left out because they can vary wildly. I didn't account for the cost of travel because that depends on how you're traveling and where you are in the world and also how far you're going. And I also didn't accommodate for accommodation because again, that can vary wildly depending on where you're staying. But these are two things you need to strongly consider when you're thinking about your first convention. So I thought I'd mention them here. Now on to pricing. I price my comics at $6 each and I price my art prints at $10 each. Unfortunately, there's no standardized pricing system for you to use, but it might be worth going to a convention before you actually set up at one so that you can see what other people are pricing their work at and use similar pricing models to them. The two additional things that I either brought with me or made to sell at the convention were small A6 prints that I valued at a dollar each. That's because some people might not have that much money, but they also might quite like my artwork and may want to bring something home as a little memento and it's easier to spend one dollar than it is to spend ten. The final thing I did were convention sketches. I did one on each of the two days and I sold them for fifty dollars each and I'm pricing the subscribe button at zero dollars. So click it before it's gone. So how much did I actually make and what was I able to sell? Well, on day one, I was able to sell six comic books and one art print for a total of $47. And day two, I was able to sell two books, three prints, two A6 prints, and one of my convention sketches for a total of $88. Um, one of the deals I did for my prints was to, if you bought one, you get the second one half price if you buy them together. So that's why the total is $88 and not $93. But combined, that brings the total I earned over the weekend to $135. I know I've thrown a lot of numbers out there, but I promise we're very close to the end, so stay with me. Let's take the earned cash and deduct it from the amount that I invested. And that brings us to $417. So I still spent $417 that I've not made back. And that's the other point to this video. Your first convention will be an overall loss, so don't approach it thinking that you're going to make a profit because you're probably not. But it's not all doom and gloom. The money I invested was for my first convention and I put money aside months before I actually arrived. And I'm not going to need to repurchase most of the items on this list for my next convention and the convention after that and so on. Also, if you're better than me at marketing and talking to people, then your sales could easily go up between conventions. So 
So you never know. I guess the million dollar question, or at least a $417 question is, was it worth it? For me, yeah, it was. And I'd do it again. It might not be worth it for you, and that's fair. I hope I've helped paint a picture of how much money you may or may not need to invest for your first convention. They're not known for being big money makers, but they could afford you the opportunity to make some friends or maybe a future collaboration. I've been Brinkley, have fun drawing, and I'll see you in the next one.